Today, researchers here at the National Centers for Disease Control said they had found several cases where people who had been sex partners both had the condition. The scientists say this probably means they are dealing with some new, deadly, sexually transmitted disease. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of all of us, welcome to America's favorite answer and question game, Jeopardy. Mr. Truitt, and I, and I want you to know that also, I will not make age an issue of this campaign. I am not going to exploit, for political purposes, my opponent's youth and inexperience. In 1984, I was working as a door-to-door -door salesman selling tools, just basically selling tools out of the back of my car. There's even a KISS story there in Amarillo. I had $25,000 that I was trying to wire transfer back to Corpus Christi, Texas at the uh, home office and actually got fingerprinted at the bank in my KISS t-shirt. In 1984, the price of gas was $1.13 a gallon and bread cost 71 cents a loaf. In 1984, I got to see KISS in Corpus Christi, Texas at the Corpus Christi Memorial Coliseum. Backing up KISS was Riot and Vandenberg, and it was my first KISS concert to see KISS without makeup on. And it was at that 1984 show that marked a point in my time that it had been seven years since I'd seen KISS, one of the longest runs uh, that would endure throughout my life. Animalize was released in September 1984, and at the time Gene Simmons had other projects, especially trying his hand at acting. The album had its critics though, and some people thought that KISS was moving towards too much of a glam metal style. Gene continued his pursuit of acting and had a starring role in a film called Runaway and a bit part in a movie called Trick or Treat. As for me, I was in a pretty low place at the time. I had quit all kinds of employment, moved back to Port Aransas, dropped out of junior college twice, and it would be about a year before I would decide to join the military. And for me, watching Gene Simmons' disinterest in the van at the time to pursue his acting career, it kind of left me uh, lost with Kiss as well. My interest in KISS uh, did wane, and when I did join the military, 
it was pretty hard to keep up with the uh, information about KISS and get all the KISS albums. here at the Brandenburg Gate and the Reichstag in Berlin is unbelievable pandemonium. It's New Year's Eve, the removal of the wall, and unity all in one. Over a million people here celebrating a day that they never thought would come, a day in which Germany became one country again. Bernie? Doug James reporting. This warning light will now stay on permanently on virtually all 17,000 domestic flights a day in the United States. Only the handful of flights lasting more than six hours will allow cigarette smoking after today. Most passengers say they can now breathe easier. The main engine start, D minus six, five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope on the window on the universe. By 1990, I had got out of the military and started college in Austin, Texas at the Austin Community College. And yes, it would be my third attempt at community college, but I used it as an opportunity to raise my grade point average before going to UT. In 1990, a gallon of gas cost $1.15 a gallon and bread was 75 cents a loaf.
May 6, 1990, I got to see KISS. It would be the second time I would see KISS without makeup on at the uh, Franklin Irwood Center in Austin, Texas. Uh, backing up KISS was Faster Pussycat and Slaughter. From what I remember of the concert, uh, um, I was impressed with KISS without makeup by the end because I was yearning for some more KISS. And by 1990, KISS had already put out Asylum in 1985. Then in Crazy Nights in 1987 and Hot in the Shade in 1989. That KISS show provided me with some great escapism. I had just finished up with all my finals and was heading into the summer before a new semester and I felt pretty good about where I was. got to be a bomb. There's no security in there anyways. It's heaven for anyone who wants to put a bomb. Jonathan Mason is doing his job. It may seem unusual to be stocking the shelves after a bomb explosion, but it's his way of dealing with the chaos around him. With Nintendo 64-bit technology, it's a whole new game. Now Mario lives in a 3D world, and you can make him go wherever you want. Whatever you thought about video games before, set it aside. Try it, it's a whole new experience. Right now, it's the peak spring climbing season in the Himalayas, a window between winter blizzards and summer monsoons. On May the 9th, teams of adventurers were about to get the ultimate high, one they'd paid a lot of money for. But within 48 hours, nature and desperate people would be picking and choosing who would live and who would die. In 96, we had our first really big blowout KISS party. I had met friends and ended up being some of the best KISS friends I ever had. In 96, 
a gallon of gas cost a dollar twenty three and bread was a dollar sixty two a loaf. By 1996, I had seen a lot of life changes, and 1992, I had met my wife, Carolyn, and had started employment with the city of Austin in 1992. In 1993, I finished my term with the National Guard, and uh, we went to Disney World in 1993. In 1994, I would graduate from the University of Texas, and in 1996, Carol and I would marry at the same church that her daughter got married in. By 1996, Kiss had already put out Revenge in 1992, then Alive 3 in 1993, but the pivotal album that came in 1996 was the MTV Unplugged album that would mark the return of the four original Kiss members in a reunion tour for 1996. So with the reunion tour, we had the original members, we had the original members in makeup for the reunion tour, and the KISS fan in me was just fine with that. So I mentioned we had a big blowout KISS party for the 1996 show, and we would wear makeup as evident in the pictures that are coming up. For the San Antonio show, we got a hotel room at the La Montagne, which is near the San Antonio Riverwalk, uh, real close to the Riverwalk in really ritzy and nice hotel. We got that hotel because we thought KISS was going to stay there. So we sent out the KISS Army of Austin to try to find KISS. There were members of our party that were in the lobby, some were at the swimming pool, but we were trying to locate our four rock and roll gods. Seal this show with a great, big, sloppy, tongue-in-the-throat, fireworks exploding, blood-spurting lip lock, live from under the Brooklyn Bridge. You wanted the best, you got the best. It's Kiss! All right, everywhere around the world we try to tell people there are no borders, there are no prime ministers, there are no presidents, there's only one nation, that's Kiss Nation!
From his pen, the Peanuts gang became icons for more than 50 years. But in an eerie coincidence, both the characters and their creator are gone. Charles Schultz died yesterday, the day before his final strip was to run. Lord prices have just been flat. On thousands of incredible items. At the sale to end all sales. They're going out of business. Final sale. At your neighborhood Montgomery Ward store. In the year 2000, I would get to see KISS three times. San Antonio, Austin, then Fort Worth. In 2000, a loaf of bread was $1.99 and a gallon of gas was By the year 2000, we were definitely hungry for some KISS, and all we had to really show for it since 1997 was Carnival of Souls, and to tell you the truth, I did not prefer that album. And I'm sorry, but I just think that KISS was trying to be some sort of grunge band, and I don't think it worked out. Psycho Circus was released September 1998 and would involve all four original members the first time since 1979's Dynasty release. The three shows that we would get to see in 2000 are really special and we kind of considered it our little mini KISS road trip tour. I would see KISS for the seventh time in San Antonio, the eighth time in Austin, and the ninth time in Fort Worth.
NASA not saying yet what has happened, only that lost communication at 200,000 feet while Columbia was streaking over the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Search and rescue teams uh, have now been mobilized. And um, Needless to say, if the shuttle did break up, there will be pieces of debris likely uh, falling in the Texas area, and that is why the search and rescue uh, has been mobilized in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It was just over 90 minutes beyond President Bush's deadline for Saddam Hussein to leave Iraq that U.S. warships and planes, there were F-117 stealth bombers involved, launched the opening salvo of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Greg Beneclausen and Jason Abraham are partners in a cloning operation that recently made waves with the American Quarter Horse Association. They won their lawsuit against the organization to have clones and their offspring registered. At his ranch east of Miami, Jason Abraham says he has one of three cloning laboratories in the United States. In 2003, we would get to see KISS in what I think is the first time in an outdoor venue in San Antonio. In 2003, a gallon of gas cost $1.59 and a loaf of bread was $1.25. Kiss Symphony Alive 4 was released July 22, 2003. The album would have Kiss live performance, Kiss unplugged performance with an ensemble of the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra, and then one uh, full session of the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra with Kiss fronting. The 2003 show in San Antonio would be special because we would actually get to see Aerosmith co-headline with Kiss
Barack Hussein Obama do solemnly swear that I will execute the office of President to the United States faithfully. That I will execute the off faithfully the pres office of President of the, the United States. The office of President of the United States faithfully. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. <laughs> They're calling it Miracle on the Hudson. You just heard the pilot brace yourself for impact. And that's when I knew that, you know, we were going down. A U.S. Airways plane loses power and then makes an emergency landing on the Hudson River. When it hit the Hudson River, it just looked, it looked like a volcano exploded. Everyone on board, 155 people, make it out alive. Have you ever heard of a Bitcoin? It's the first decentralized electronic currency not controlled by a single organization or government. Check this out. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is the first decentralized digital currency. Bitcoins are digital coins you can send through the internet. Compared to other alternatives, Bitcoins have a number of advantages. Bitcoins are transferred directly from person to person via the net, without going through a bank or clearinghouse. So I got to see KISS for the 11th time on December 4th, 2009. In 2009, gallon of gas cost $2.35 a gallon, and a loaf of bread was $1.39. So Sonic Boom was released October 6, 2009. You know, I was real happy with Sonic Boom, and you would see some vocals from Tommy Thayer for the first time. And I saw the album as a bit of a resurgence for Kiss because Paul Stanley would state that the pers purpose of the album isn't to let people know that we're still around, it's to let people know we can still knock out anybody who is out there. So I took it that they mean to stick around for a while.
There was jubilation in Crimea as word came that Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow had signed a treaty that will incorporate the Ukrainian province into Russia. Less than a month after Ukraine's President Viktor Yanukovych fled the capital after his security forces killed protesters. There is no cure, no vaccine, and it's 90% fatal. So far, it's estimated the Ebola virus has claimed around 185 lives in Guinea and Liberia. It's the first outbreak of the virus on record in West Africa. Now it appears to have spread to Sierra Leone, according to WHO. Nine suspected cases are being monitored after the organization announced five Ebola deaths in the country on Monday. Now to a big day here in New York City. You're looking live at One World Trade Center. A major milestone at, as that building opens its doors this morning. The first tenants are moving into the tallest and most expensive building in the Western Hemisphere. And GMA Weekend Anchor Dan Harris is there for us. Good morning, Dan. Hey, Robin, good morning. After many long, emotional, and at times excruciating years, One World Trade Center right behind me is finally open for business. Got to see KISS live 2014, live at Dakota. In 2014, we would have an epic KISS party, pre and post show. 
in 2014, the price of gas was $3.37 a gallon, and a loaf of bread cost $1.40. Well, the album Monster released October 9, 2012. Monster was co-produced by Paul Stanley, and Monster would mark the second studio release with the current band lineup with Tommy Thayer and Eric Singer. And this may be where we start our discussion about what is the future of KISS and what are our opinions about the future of KISS. You know, the band's uncertain about recording another album, especially since they've already announced the end of the road tour. So Monster may very well represent the last studio album. What do you think? Anyway, the 2014 pre and post party was awesome. We had Kiss Pinball Challenges, we had a cake, and we had our Kiss right in our own backyard.
Don Trump do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States the office of President of the United States and will to the best of my ability and will to the best of my ability preserve protect and defend preserve protect and defend the Constitution of the United States the Constitution of the United States that breaking news the blockbuster Disney deal the parent company of ABC buying many of the assets of 21st Century Fox creating an entertainment entertainment giant ABC's chief business and economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis is here Give us those details, Rebecca. This is a major deal. Good morning, Robin. Yes, for major deal for Disney and 21st Century Fox, as well as consumers, the new combined company will include Fox's movie and TV studios and cable networks, and together the two companies will have 46 million subscribers around the world. All right, folks, we want to take you now to the Kennedy Space Center, where SpaceX is attempting to make history by launching an unmanned Falcon 9 rocket that's already flown. Five, four, by 2017, I had retired from the city of Austin with 25 years of service and got to see KISS in Irving, Texas in 2017. In 2017, a gallon of gas was $2.41 a gallon, and a loaf of bread was So on September 27, 2017, did get to see KISS in Irving, Texas. It was a special show. We had lost a very dear family friend and got to take friends to see KISS in Irving. It was quite special. So the timeline does take us to 2017, and we do have to talk about the inevitable. With the uh, end of the road tour uh, already underway, and KISS is set to tour here in Texas, in Austin, Texas, at Dakota, September 29th, hopefully uh, COVID, uh, not too COVID prohibitive, and we are anxiously waiting for the September KISS concert. You know, about the future of KISS, my idea would be for Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons to have a TV game show, and they could actually have People compete to take over for them in their roles as the demon and the star child. The winner of the contest would get to take over the band and lead the band going forward. So let us know. We want to hear from you. What is your opinion on the future of KISS? And is it all over? Is it really the end of the road? Leave your comments below and always click that thumbs up button and subscribe for some more KISS history.
This has been a Rockin' M production.